Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Monday. My name is Derek and today we're going to go over some things that you might have missed from last week that you should definitely be aware of. Let's get into the video. So one of the cool new products that you might have seen, and if you haven't already, get excited for it, is the iPhone 14 Pro Max Soft OLED. It works at 120 hertz, which is phenomenal, making it less distinguishable between an OEM and this aftermarket screen. It also is IC transferable, which is a big plus, which is something that I really enjoy because I hate seeing that notification. And it also has the ability for true tone transfer. So it's hitting everything that I like. I like soft OLEDs. I like IC transfer and I like being able to do true tone. Now, one thing to note for now, there's a limit of two units per customer per day. We want to make sure that everyone has a chance to try it out so that they can see the benefits that it has. It has a quicker refresh rate and a fast and responsive touch with lower temperatures and a full HD display. And of course, one of the really cool things about mobile centrics and especially the X07 is that you have that OLED breakage warranty. The OLED breakage warranty covers instances where the display shows signs of bleeding marks on the OLED itself as depicted in this image without any cracks on the glass. So that's a really good selling point for you and your customer to be able to help them have that ease of mind to know that it has that warranty. Given that it is soft, and this is one of the things that I like about it, it is more flexible, which means it's less prone to damage anyway, and it fits much better into the frame. And if you wanted to know the difference between the soft and the hard, basically the difference is the technology where the hard uses a glass substructure, which means it's not as flexible. It is cheaper though, so it's a more affordable option. In my opinion, the soft is better for the phone, but if you're looking to save money, go with the hard. Also something that you might have missed is the replacement parts for the Google, Asus, LG, Revel, and Boost. We have available parts for the Revel, and you can see the list of stuff that we have here with the LCD screens, replacement battery, fingerprint sensors, all of these different components for those models. Check it out, see what's new on the site. And for those of you that are in Canada, we now have in stock replacement parts compatible for the the Xiaomi, Oppo, OnePlus, Huawei, and Honor. A bunch of new parts available, so definitely check out the Canadian website so that you can see what's new and what you can provide to your customers. Well, that wraps up today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on our daily videos. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be covering another YouTube channel that you should definitely be following. Leave in the comments below if there's one that I haven't covered that you'd like to see. I wanna make sure that all YouTubers that have good content that maybe not aren't getting the recognition that they want have a chance to be seen. So if there's someone that you follow, comment it down below. And if there's a specific repair that you'd like to see, it's something that I'd like to hear from you guys as I make videos every week covering topics that you guys are asking for. Whether it's soldering, which I cover on Wednesdays and sometimes on Fridays. I sometimes even go over tips and tricks on these types of things, whether it's refurbishing or repairs, soldering, whatever it is on Thursdays and Friday we fix devices. So if there's a specific device or a specific repair that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.